کی محمد سے وفا تو نے تو ہم تیرے ہیں یہ جہاں چیز ہے کیا لوہ و قلم تیرے ہیں ریڈ ان دا نیم آف یو لارڈ ہو کریٹڈ دس مار دا بگننگ آف دا پروفٹ ہڈ اور پروفٹ وس بی اپان ہم نحمد ہو و نسلی علی رسول ہل کریم اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ وقال النبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم انا خاتم النبیین لا نبی بعدی او کما قال علیہ الصلاة والسلام صدق اللہ العظیم وصدق رسوله النبی الامی الكریم ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين کی محمد سے وفا تو نے تو ہم تیرے ہیں کی محمد سے وفا تو نے تو ہم تیرے ہیں یہ جہاں چیز ہے کیا لوہ و کلم تیرے ہیں in the name of Allah the most gracious, the most merciful. Honorable Chief Guest, dear fellow students, and all dear citizens, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I stand before you today with a profound sense of honor and gratitude as I delve into the life of the greatest man to have ever walk this earth. The beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. In our annual function, I have been tasked with the noble duty of shedding light on the extraordinary life of the seal of the Prophets. Dear audience, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was born in the city of Makkah. In the year 570 CE, a year known as the year of the elephant, his lineage can be traced back to the noble lineage of Prophet Ismail, the son of Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon them. Even before his birth, the sign of his greatness were evident as the light of prophethood had already shone upon his forefathers. From his early childhood, the Prophet, peace be upon him, exhibited signs of exceptional character and morality. Known as Al-Ameen, the trustworthy, and As-Sadiq, the truthful among his people. He gained the admiration and respect of everyone who knew him. His reputation for honesty and integrity was so esteemed that he earned the title of Al-Ameen long before the divine revelation commenced. Dear audience, the turning point in the life of our beloved Prophet Muhammad came at the age of 40 when he received the first revelation from Allah through the angel Jibreel in the cave of Hira. The words of the Quran were revealed to him, commanding him to اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق Read in the name of your Lord who created. This mark the beginning of the prophethood of Prophet which be upon him and the commencement of a mission that would change the course of history. Dear audience, the message the Prophet brought was not a new one but a continuation of the monotheistic teachings of previous Prophets such as Abraham, Moses and Jesus peace be upon them. The Qur'an, the final revelation, is guide for all aspects of life, providing solution to the challenges faced by humanity and addressing the ethical and moral dilemmas of society. One of the defining qualities of Prophet peace be upon him was his unwavering commitment to justice and compassion. He was a mercy to all of creation and his compassion extended to not only humans, 
but also animals and the environment. His teachings emphasize the sanctity of life, the importance of kindness, and the necessity of establishing justice in society. The Prophet's life was marred by numerous challenges and trials. The early years in Mecca were particularly difficult as he and his followers faced persecution and oppression despite the hardships. The Prophet remained steadfast in his mission, preaching the message of monotheism and calling people to worship the one true God. The migration to Medina, known as the Hijra, was a pivotal moment in the Prophet's life. It marked the beginning of the prophethood of Prophet peace be upon him and the commencement of a mission that would change the course of history. The Treaty of Hudaybiyah, a peace treaty between the Muslims and the Quraysh, showcased the Prophet's strategic acumen and commitment to peaceful resolution. Despite the hardships, the treaty laid the groundwork for a period of peace and allowed Islam to spread peacefully. The conquest of Makkah marked a triumphant return for the Prophet to his birthplace. However, instead of seeking revenge, he forgave even his staunchest enemies. The conquest was not a victory of power, but a victory of mercy and forgiveness. Dear audience, the farewell pilgrimage, known as the Hijra, was a poignant moment in the Prophet's life addressing a ethical and moral dilemmas of society. In the Quran, Allah says, ala Verily, you are of a great moral character. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The strong man is not the one who can overpower other in wrestling. Rather, the strong man is the one who controls himself when he gets angry. The life of the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a beacon of light for humanity. However, instead of seeking revenge, his exemplary character and compassion and unwavering commitment to justice serve as a timeless source for inspiration. As we reflect on his life, let us strive to embody the noble qualities he exhibited and worked towards creating a world characterized by justice, compassion, and unity. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad, his family, and his companions. I would like to end my speech with this rhythm. A jannat tujh mein huro kusur rehte hain, mene mana ke zarur rehte hain. A jannat tujh mein huro kusur rehte hain, mene mana ke zarur rehte hain. میرے دل کا تواف کر تو اے جنت میرے دل میں حضور رہتے ہیں وآخر دعوانان الحمدللہ رب العالم